Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are setting up my 11th journal. Um, so this is the journal I chose right here. Uh, this is a paper shire journal. It, um, it's very pretty, I'm really obsessed with it. It's a dark grid journal with I think like around 160 pages. And I will leave the link to um, this shop down below along with my referral code, which will get you 10% off your first order if you wanna check it out. These journals are super affordable for the quality because this is 160 GSM paper, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to use it. I haven't used like an expensive journal like this. Um, that's also dark grid in, or I actually haven't used one at all. So I'm really excited. Um, as you can see, it's like pink with some gold foil and I'm just really excited. So I have a bunch of supplies here that I've gathered. Oh, I also just kept this, um, which was wrapped around it because I really like the stars, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a way to cut that out and incorporate it, but I'll just leave it to the side in case I choose to. Um, let me just make sure everything is aligned. Okay. So I kind of have a whole mess of things here that I was planning on using. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is do something for this really blank cover page here. And I have this journaling card. I actually have two of these um, when I ordered from her shop. And since I have two, I don't mind cutting it up. So I think I'm going to cut it up and glue it in here. Um, so yeah, I always talk to my friend Eris. Well, no, not always. Like recently I talked to my friend Eris and we were talking about like who would be who on this journaling card. Oh wait, did I mention what this video was about? Yeah, yeah, okay, so um, today I'm setting up my 11th journal, just in case. I'm setting up my 11th journal. Um, I'm just about done with my 10th, so that's why I'm doing this. And yeah, so let me just cut this up. I think I'm also going to leave out the sparkles. But some of them are really close. No, I think I'm going to leave it out. Okay, we're going to leave it out. So, yeah, I was talking to my friend Eris, and um, we have, what's it called? Like, we've determined that I am the white bunny and she's the brown bear. Um, yeah, that was just kind of something random. So I'm going to cut this out and I think I'm going to speed up, I'm going to speed up the clip. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back and I just cut it out and this literally just fits, which I think is really great. So um, I don't think I'm gonna add anything else. Um, for like the blank cover page here, I don't usually do anything special. So um, we're just gonna glue it on with my glue stick. Oh, I love how that kind of just fits. Anyway, um, like I said, I do have two of these or else I would never have cut it. Like I just, I like to hoard things and I don't like to change them up. So yeah, I'm really glad that this just fit. And what I also wanted to do was I have a bunch of these sticker sheets from her shop or actually, oh my gosh. Okay. So this is where I keep my sticker collection. And I think I have a few samplers that also have these little boxes on them. Yeah. Here's one. I don't have one here. Let's see. Sorry. Now I'm literally just going through my sticker collection. Um, oh, here's more boxes. Okay. That's what I wanted. So I want to pick a box to write volume 11 and put it on the cover here. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to get these stickers back in. Okay, so um, we have lots of box options here. Actually, I think I'm not gonna use these because there's two of each box. I feel like that'd be appropriate for starting and ending a journal. So I'm gonna leave those aside. But I'm um, from here, let's pick one. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking cute. Okay, which one should I use? I'm just gonna put in the corner right here. So obviously not the one, two, three. This cupcake one is pretty cute. And this one has the characters. I want something with florals though, because this has florals. So, but this also has like three boxes. Okay, it's fine. We're going to use this one. I'm just going to stick it right here. Oh, cute. Love that for me. Oh, now I'm kind of worried because... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to close. Okay. And, oh, I feel like now I need to put washi here. I don't really know if I have a washi that matches because I did bring out a bunch of washies. But I feel like they would all just be a little too much. Like this brown doesn't match. Oh, I have little bears. But it definitely, I feel like the blue doesn't... Oh, but there's blue here. Like, is this kind of cute? Let's see. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I really hope it's not too long. No, I feel like that does not match the vibe. Okay, I do have one more option for washi, I think. Let's see. What is it? I literally just have a bunch of stuff here. Um, okay, I know I had like a pink washi, but I'm not entirely sure where I put that washi card. Okay, I guess it's missing. I don't know where it went. So, in, um, hopefully, let me just check to see. Okay, yeah, you can't see that. We're just gonna write volume 11, and I'm gonna bring it closer to myself so I don't mess up the writing. Um, so it's gonna be out of frame while I do this, but I will show you guys once I finish writing. Volume 11. Okay, cute. So here we are. Let me bring it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go, volume 11, so cute. 
I'm freaking because last time I messed up the volume that I was on but I just finished volume 10 so this has to be 11. Okay and normally I wouldn't do anything on this page but since this cover I mean this journal was kind of like expensive um I want to just use up all the pages so I think what I'm going to do on this page is just glue together some random photos and things I have. So I have this really cute avatar that I made on Pick Crew, I think. Um, and then I have this little champagne problems, um, little like card thing that one of my pen pals made me. Um, and she hand lettered it, which is so pretty. So I think I'm just going to kind of glue these on here, make it kind of cute. Um, I could use washi. Wait, first I'm going to go look for that pink washi that I had and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found the washi. Here it is. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, does this color really match? I don't know. Okay, so um, let's just flatten this out a little bit. And I think I'm just going to glue it on. I don't really have to do anything special here, right? I could put some deco, but I don't really have any deco that really works. And I kind of just like these plain and together. So I think we're just going to glue it on. So the first thing I'm going to glue on is my avatar. Um, if I remember, I'll link the website to make the avatar down below if you want to add one in your journal. Um, but if I forget, just definitely let me know. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's lined up. Very cute. And I'm just gonna glue this on. Oh, is that kind of high? It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, so here we are. Very cute. Okay, pretty. So that's that. I'm not gonna really press it down now just because I don't wanna like bend the page here, which I'm gonna use. So now we are gonna decorate the main cover page. Um, I did pull out a bunch of things. So we have this postcard which is really pretty that I got from a set, um, I think on AliExpress, I'm not entirely sure. I do sell postcard bundles in my shop, Valerie's, nope, Parchment and Pen, so I will leave the link down below, but I thought it would just be cute to put on this side. And on this side, I have some really cute photos that I felt like, you know, match the colors, right? And um, I also have this like wood scrap of paper and this blue, which I felt like matched the blue pretty well. So I did plan this out a little bit in my head before I filmed this video or else the process of this video would actually be so long because I take so long to decide what I want to do all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this photo here. Oh, I also wanted to add in this pink because I feel like there wasn't enough pink, but this pink is kind of dark, but it's okay. It's fine. So um, here we're going to put this photo up here. Cute, cute, like that. And then this photo down here. And then what I was going to do is I have a bunch of photos here, but I think I'm going to save those for the ending page. And so I did bring out a couple stickers from Drawn by Leslie, and I thought these were really cute and matched the color scheme. So we're going to do that. But first, let's glue on all these papers. Oh, I'm running low on my glue stick. Okay, so we'll do this here. And then this here. And then I'm gonna put this wood piece here. Oh, and there's actually one on the back, but that's okay. I feel like the lighter colors are more summery. Um, okay, and then we'll put the pink. And okay, that looks good, I think. So I'll glue on the photos now. Um, do I actually like this? Well, it's too late now. I already glued everything down. Um, also, let me know if you guys actually enjoy these videos because this is only the second one I filmed and I haven't even uploaded the one for journal number 10. So I haven't actually gotten any feedback, but let me know in the comments if you guys actually like these videos. Okay, I really like this postcard here. I feel like the colors match so well. Um, I think I'm gonna put this Drawn by Leslie sticker that says I can and I will right here. There's some empty space. So I guess I could put some, this blue paper, right? That's cute. Okay, let me glue in the blue. There it is. Also, if you hear me just saying like random things, I definitely talk to myself when I'm crafting. So um, that's why. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And the color matches pretty well. And then, oops, wrong thing. I also have these two little like swatch stickers that I feel like I could write the start date on. Also, um, I won't be writing that down today just because I don't know what day I'm going to start this journal. But I feel like... It would be cute to put in the middle like that. Okay, nice. Just kind of empty here. So I have, first I have these little, I don't know what these are called, um, this sticker and I have a Polaroid sticker. And I feel like both of these colors match pretty well, but would it be too much to put this here? I'm gonna lay it down gently so it doesn't stick all the way. Put this here and then this here. Like is that, no, I feel like that's kind of cute. Okay, I think we're gonna do that. It's not like I really have, 
Oh, should I not have covered this up? Because then I feel like I'm wasting all of this paper. But it's glued down. Nope, it's not glued down that well. Okay. I'm going to cut part of this off because I don't want it to go to waste if it's just being covered. And I feel like I could use it to collage in other places. Okay, that was kind of messy, but it is what it is. I'm really guys taking you guys through the process of how I did this. And considering the fact that I already planned this out a little bit in advance, um, imagine if you actually watched this thing in full. That would be literally hours. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of the wood here under this sticker. If I can peel it up. I feel like this paper is pretty forgiving with the stickers. Just have to be careful. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna glue this little piece of wood paper down here in the corner. Okay, you can kind of see the ridge, but that's fine. Um, should I put the other piece here or is that too much wood in one spot? Let me just cut it so it's a little more square. Cause I could put it behind the camera like right here and then stack. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Just because I don't want so much white space. Okay, cute. This color also matches really well and that's exactly what my Polaroid camera looks like. Okay, I think this actually turned out pretty cute for a cover page. Um, I feel like I could add more of the bright pink here but the thing is I don't have that much pink and I wanna save some for the ending page. So we're just gonna leave it alone. Um, now I'm just gonna tape in this postcard and I'm debating if I should use washi or um, let's see what color this washi is because I feel like it might be a little bit too bright. Is this the right blue? It's not too bad. Okay, should we use this? And it matches the blue of the postcard, so. Okay, I'm gonna tape this postcard on, on this side. I think like these colors are actually so perfect that I'm so glad I went through my postcards to look for this because it's literally a perfect match. Okay, um, or should I also layer the pink on top because that's kind of cute right okay let's try that what if i just kind of layered it like nope that's too direct or that's uh, like this okay that's cute let me just get another piece of the washi oh my gosh it's not peeling properly okay i hate when that happens so do that rip off the bad part of the washi and then should i put it on the lower side I guess that makes sense to kind of mirror it. Okay, so I think that is all I'm going to do to start off this journal for now. Obviously, you'll see lots of journal me's for the um, pages in the middle, and then you will see a flip through once it's completed, but I'm just gonna kind of flip through what we did today. So I'm just gonna stand up so I can make sure everything is aligned. Okay, the first thing we have is this really cute cover page. I'll probably glue this down um, off camera a little bit more, um, but yeah, super cute. Love this journaling card. Then we have my little avatar champagne problems. Very nice. And then we have my really pretty, I'm really in love with these colors. I think they're so cute. Um, we have my cover page with the, I'm going to write the started and then the date here. And then, yeah, these colors just match so well and I love it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!